This video is going to be somewhat cryptic if you don't already know the whole case as to how many of us believe the VA and the federal court are violating HIPAA, RICO, the ADA, and more in the employment lawsuit of former JAG attorney Robert Bosgos. In a moment, you will hear a very agitated court clerk leaving a message with the Bosgos family this week. Now remember that because I will explain its significance vis-a-vis -vis the fact that I successfully intervened under similar circumstances in federal court on a case involving my mother a few years ago. Now at this point, we have seen the court wrongfully deny Mr. Bosgos the right to file electronically on ECF when that has been a standard for two decades now and it's given to almost anyone with the equipment required to do so. This throws an immense burden on him to file everything by paper. This is a guy who already had a stroke at the hands of the VA. This is a guy whose brother died of a stroke, mind you, and they are aware of all of this, okay? So if the court continues on under an Article 2 analysis, if the court continues on to deny him reasonable accommodations, then uh, Judge Amy Berman Jackson is no longer immune from a uh, lawsuit herself. Now, furthermore, she refused to allow the Bosgoss' son Lance to intervene on the case, even though he is clearly an interested party who suffered through a pack of lies about his conduct and the physical imposition of Von Sell James' husband, a rather angry Negro who acted in a most ghetto fashion when uh, Lance simply tried to issue a summons and lawsuit to him, or rather to his wife, Von Sell James, a liar. This right here, yep, service summons, legal bro, legal. Legal. These people are at our house. Yes. Doing We've a summons. Been served Could papers. you please get out of my face, sir? You in my blood. already been served. So? Papers. You Come in on, my blood. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Listen to your wife, bro. Thank you. Hi. You on my blood. These people have harassed us. That's it. Yes, Mr. He Lance has resigned so? in lieu of being fired from the VA for mm -hmm. his treatment of employees. Now, uh, Mr. Bosgos is a whistleblower in this case. And this particular installment involves the retaliation after the retaliation. Sometimes that's actually easier to show, the secondary conduct. Uh, but the court, by and through Judge Amy Berman Jackson, does not want any parts of this on the record. And uh, attempted to dodge it by stating that the conduct of filing a set of bogus criminal charges against the Bosgos family and lying about Lance's conduct occurred in a different jurisdiction in a criminal case. Your Honor, frankly, that fails both the smell test and the giggle test because Lance was in the state jurisdiction strictly to conduct business related to the underlying case in the first place, okay? So you can't divorce the two. So, so that fact and the audio recording of the court clerk looms large. The clerk reminds the Bosgos family that Lance has not been given the right to intervene, so his name should not be on pleadings and him signing things or anyone signing things on his behalf. That might be true. Okay, it might be true, uh, but given that what he signed off on is a motion to reconsider the wrongful denial of intervention, um, that begs the question. And as you can clearly see right there, intervention and the right to electronically file are things that just happen. I got them all the time, and I, I get them whenever I'm involved in a federal case, okay? And, and, and quite frankly, I'm despised by so many judges who would make your head spin because of my mouth, my pen, and my cameras. Now, Robert Bosgos to the contrary, was none of that. He was just a dude trying to go to work. Now, all of this happened by and through a judge with a history of ties to Big Pharma that contract with the VA. Her response on that and a prior motion to recuse was simply to say that the financial report was several years old and unverified. Well then, Your Honor, provide us with all of your financials since that time or recuse yourself. And remember, I definitely know how to make a judge recuse herself. Just ask Lanja B. McCafferty. My name is Jackie Francis of the Federal Court. Okay. In Washington, D.C. Call in reference to 19 CV 239. I'm calling in reference to your recent filing, which is a motion for reconsideration. Right. You have listed Lance Fugium as a plaintiff in the case. He's yeah. not been granted intervention, mm -hmm. and he should not be signing any pleadings. This is just an FYI call. Mm -hmm. We requested a reconsideration. Is that what you're right, talking about? You filed a motion for reconsideration, but the judge hasn't granted Mr. Fugium's motion for leave for motion to intervene in the case. So he's not a plaintiff in the case as of yet. Okay. Okay, so he should not be, if you're going to put him on the pleading, um, you can put him as a movement, would okay. be his title. All righty. And his signature should not be on the filing, though. 
because he's not been granted intervention. All right. It's still pending before the court. Okay, yes. Okay, so this is really interesting because my son and I initially filed on the 29th of January and Robert intervened and we had just copied what we had done when Robert intervened and wasn't accepted yet. I didn't say I didn't say his name. I said Lance. No, no, but what I'm trying to say is before I filed initially on 29th of January and Robert intervened then when he intervened we did the exact if you look and see how we filed it we filed it the same and Robert's signature was on there and so what you're saying is Lance shouldn't be uh his signature shouldn't be in there until she um, approves it. So it's like she a complex. not granted him intervention yet, ma'am. Ex- okay, gotcha. She has not. Okay, okay, just calm down. I mean, I'm okay. not, yeah, it's, there's. Okay, well, not, that's the yeah. my call, okay? All righty. Have a okay. nice day. You too. Bye. Okay, bye. So, you know what? She's being argumentative because she's abusing her power. And what she's trying to do, we did exactly what, there's um, um, there's an issue here because the way that we filed when we included you, your signature was on the, was similar to what Lance did. And so it's well, we like didn't a, We didn't do any subsequent pleadings after... Um, after I filed before we granted. Okay, so, well, I just had to put something in there, um, and she's just really, I thought she was really rude because she's a clerk, and she's trying to tell us, and she's trying to snap at us. And what she did was she had her boss on the line cheering her on. That's all that was. It's just overwhelming what is going on, and I have to call it because when I became a lawyer in the first place, I was a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed assistant attorney general. I believed in the law. I believed in the government. I no longer believe in any of it because of cases like this.